Okay. Today's project that you're going to be seeing the video of is making these replacement arms here for the wheels of my aerator. Uh, the ones that I had, I kind of hit the fence, <laughs> fences and stuff several times and kind of messed them up. It's kind of made them out too good. So I, mean, I need to fix it it's because it makes it easier to get over concrete. So this is an inexpensive one. It's like a Lowe's Blackhawk. And I've had it. Mainly what happened, I caught guide wires with it. Something get it trying to aerate it close to stuff and didn't need to. So basically what I've done is I just made new pieces. You'll see what all I made. I made the new pieces to uh, go on the, uh, uh, the, the bushing. And I made them a little different, drilled and tapped them. So I wouldn't have to have nuts on them. Um, and then made the axles and the bushings. I put aluminum bushings in the wheels instead of the plastic ones that was with them. Again, the way these are being going to be used, it's not a great dang big deal. So what the heck? They'll, uh, this only will get used just to like move it from point A to point B or something. So I think that'll be a good enough object there. So... There it is. Hope you enjoy. And come along for the ride. I was saying, sometimes you're the windshield, sometimes you're the bug. Well, here's the deal. I, working on my aerator. It's getting close to time. We're going to have to do aerator. And I bent the wheel along, and you can see how warped all this is. Both sides, I've caught stuff and pulled the wheels. I've disassembled this one here because the wheel was bent and I've got the axle straight enough to use. So now what we're going to have to do is make a couple of pieces, four of these pieces on the lathe to mount all this back on the aerator and then we'll make brand new shafts. So we've got to get our material together and see what we need and we're going to start a lathe work this morning. All right. As, the, as Harold down in Texas says, all projects start on bandsaw. So this morning, I'm not going. I'm going to go ahead. And I'm going to saw my flat steel up. So that's what we're working on. All right. So what we're doing now is we're going to drill us a three-quarter inch. I'm gonna, this is a three-quarter inch drill. We're going to drill a three-quarter inch hole in this piece of steel. And this three quarter inch hole is where the shafts go. This is an aerator. I'm not trying to read this stuff and ream it or none of that good stuff. I'm having, I'll tell you what, I have a lot of trouble with this lane. A lot of it underway. One of the things about a grizzly gunsmith lay, there's a, a place down here in the end that you can stick a, they decided for torque. It just, when you start these big drills, it does, sometimes it doesn't like We're going to drill, like I said, well, I'm going to drill a good bit because I'll make two of these. And I might be pushing, let me just make sure I'm not pushing the part in the chuck too. Because he puts a lot of weight. So what we're doing is we're going to drill pretty deep. These, you know, I'm going to use the front of that for drill. This end piece you see here, I'm going to come back and cut it off and fade machine it down to about the thickness of the piece of steel. And then I'm going to then I'll we'll cut it off the same thickness as the uh, the original. This will be the, this will be the, uh, uh, this will be the top piece that, that bends on this piece of steel. But we'll still, we got to turn the shaft too. I'm going to make a shaft. And when I make mine, I'm going to drill the, the uh, I'm going to drill the flat stock out on the mill with the, the, the holes in it to let me, 
correspond with everything. Let me see if I can shoot one more up in there. Might need to put some in my little can for this, but the grilling out really is good. So, so we're grilling a pretty hefty hole up in some steel. Like I said, I'm trying to make this long enough I do all my drilling in one shot. And because it's just a lot simpler to drill all the That's what this end, so whatever I had made out of this before was turned to like 15, 16. This little piece, this little piece that's been it come from a scrap pile outside. I picked up, it's probably 10, 18. More than likely I picked it up somewhere. So I'm going to get this straight done. Like I said, I'm not carrying it. I'm exact. I mean, I just like I said, I checked it. So uh, this, all this has got to do is fit up on a shaft and bolt it to the hole. Uh, I may what I'll probably do. deburr this and I'm just going to wrap my deburr tool. Oh, I get you a real good view. When I'm doing stuff like this, it's not that mission, what I call mission critical. I'm just going to go in here an inch and approximately a quarter. You can see my scale. And then we're just going to set up and face it off. I'm not going to run. I'm not going to have you there for that. Obviously you've seen it, but that's how I do it. I'm just going to, you know, and I just put you up our close so you can see. So, all right, let me make sure I got you lined up there. Uh, so I'm just going to clamp down. I thought I was in. Okay, I won't be. I always run fairly slow speed. When I, and I always part off. If my arm gets in the way, or you see, I'm let me move my spill mask through. But uh, if I can, I might get to it. Smarter than I am says you rinse and 
turn this one over and we'll debar it here in a minute and go from there. Oh, little boy. All right, now this one here wasn't, you know, you notice the gun happened, just happened to be turned the right diameter. Oh crap, I didn't even set the stop. I sat there and I laid this out. And I don't know what and but Jesus, I did. I didn't put set the stop. I pulled it up the quarter an inch, so to speak, and didn't even set the stupid stop. So that's just right, right. You know, sometimes you do that. All right, so this is all this has got to be turned down to about, about a sixteenth off of it. All this is being turned down for is to, to so the wrench, you know, they just welded it to the face. What I'm doing is drilling me a, I'm going to bore mine out to allow for me to have um, a, um, I ain't trying to get this exact either. I'm just turning enough off of where I want this to go in there and I want to press. Well, they don't really want to press. I don't want this to slip down in there, set on the shoulder, so when we weld all this together, I need a little more because I want mine just to scope. I want it like the other. I don't want to have to press it. I'm going to slide in. We're going to weld this up probably on both ends, at least on one end. And it's a little smaller than I wanted, but that'll work. No matter if it wiggles or all right. I, I've started turning the shafts. I drilled and tapped the uh, uh I drilled the bush. Oh. Oh. Have... I had something I was. Let me double check something here because I'm, unless I pull, pulled it in, which you could have. So, I, yeah, I'm trying to get these close to the original length. So, this is just going to be 625. And, uh, and I know I got it hung out there, but I really don't want to put, I mean, I can put a center in it. And I might end up doing it because it looks like it's going to chatter and I get down on my own white foot. So. Looks like I'm going to have to put a center in it. So let me just get set up, put a center in it, set my centers up. And uh, I'm done drilling three quarter holes. But basically off camera what I did was um, I drilled and tapped the little bushings, you see my bushes, but the upper pieces for the arms, what they actually are. Let me kind of loosen the camera up. I'll turn you down here. And there we go. Well. This is a job that calls for having some room to the center, so I'm gonna break out my uh, DNM, uh, my th uh, my uh, DNMG. Well, that's not it's a VNMG actually. All right, I'm at about 660, so we want five eighths, which is six, basically 625. So. Uh,
be close, be honest with you. Yep, this is about 5 under, but that would be good. That's 620, and that's about what the other shaft is. So this is going to run. We'll just hit this real light with a piece of scotch right, not the chamfer it and figure out how long to cut it off for and all that so hang loose Like I say, I'm around, you know, I'm not trying to be exact. This is just going to be a, a bushing, so a shaft for to go here. About 665. Yeah, I'm not trying to get these slick. I'm just this is this is going out of air game, people. I'm not in a I'm just getting variator fixed. Hopefully I got enough gas in my welder to finish this one job. This one a little more special stuff like this. About 625, it's pretty close. 
I'm going to take just a couple of things. I want that thing to slide. See, really, all of this is just not going to be used that much. This big thing, I want this thing to buy. The other's a little smaller, about 620. And basically, what's going to happen with these wheels is when you need to pick the aerator up and go or drive away or pull it back and park it. So, it's only used a small, you know, maybe load it. What I've done is I've had to catch, this is just a, I, there we go, that's good, that's about five under and that'll slip and slide good. Okay, so what does it cut you off? Okay, I've lined this up basically where I need my center hole and I've started out with just a small bit I was using to drill. The holes I drilled off camera for the, for the, um, uh, Um, for the uh, put, for the uh, pinholes for the carter keys for the other two. Uh, this has got to be it. Uh, might be too much. This is, let's just slow down and hit back gear because that's just too fast. We'll have to hit back gear and get up on the speed a little bit. So. Basically, this is 15 16 I think it's one inch or better I got to drill it too so this is yeah let me measure something before I go chomping off the bit in the side in here 910 910 about nine let me know to look over at my chart. I've just got the camera on, so I'm on yammer. Yeah, it's 15 sixteenths. So, I don't need that one. So, what we're doing is we're taking our S&D 15 sixteenths. I drilled this to a half. I used a little one to line it up, drill it to a half. Then we're going, now we're going to drill it 15 sixteenths. And that should let the little bushings fit right into it for welding. So we're about at 210. Let's just see how she likes to be it have it and I didn't show my welding but basically there's one of them on the on the uh, 
on the aerator sitting here now and I'm going to have to make new bushings. Here's the other side knit together and there it is same so now all I got to do is make my bushings for the wheels okay here it goes I want to see how this tool will go along We like about 20,000 for a finishing pace, which is good. All right. I said, I hope we can be on the camp ride on this. We're going to drill and ream this thing proper size so I'm actually gonna read it and I and, and I'm gonna have some play and everything it was designed that way so hopefully this would be about 870 or some off the off the odd number we'll check it with the mics and go back and recaliper it and see what we got Yep, has yeah, 75 by 85. I'm pretty sure what I'm getting here. And this here should be about 885 or so. So we should, should be a close fit. Tell you what, we're going to go this to be safe. Take about Two thousand. So, so I don't care if the switch a little bit. The plastic one's dead. That way I know it'll slide. I, the wheel's too big and too hard to get up on the lathe, but I don't want to unchuck it. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn it just a little bit looser. Go trail and ring this thing anyway. Cut it off. So we should be going to be here. I'm just going to take a couple extra thousands off just to give me some room. Yeah, I'm going to check this. That should give me enough. A little bit of room to play with. i tell you what. We're going to go ahead and I'm just going to check it. I'd rather check it. Okay, I'm drilling a hole now. I'm trying to. I said I haven't even touched this bit. This drill is the one that came from an auction that I went to. And um, uh, back in January, uh, and, and they had they had some interesting items, but there was a garnishment box. And it was full of stuff, but it was so, it went for such a price. Like I said, I didn't sharpen this stuff right out of that box of bits, or drills that I got. I didn't sharpen it. All I done was stuck it in my lathe and turned it to where it fit into my chuck. I only have a half inch chuck. I use on my way.
reason being is I'm generating a lot of heat. And I'm going off the heat too. Now I'm having pushback. I don't understand that I cannot never. That's another project I'm gonna work on is trying to figure a way to get this tighter. So when I would pop that wedge, it just tightens up. Oh, 